Hello everyone, and as always, thank you for watching my video tutorials. You've always been very gracious with your comments, and I enjoy the questions and interaction with everyone. So, um, as always, if you have any questions about this video or any of the others, or need uh, website assistance, um, I'm always available to be contacted. What this video is going to be about, it's going to be a short one. I just wanted to highlight the new version of Artisteer that came out. I've got another video about Artisteer that I did in the past, and it was obviously about Artisteer 2. But uh, for those of you who don't know what Artisteer is, it is an amazing desktop application with a uh, very detailed graphical user interface that allows you to build themes, templates, layouts, whatever you want to call them, they're all synonymous, but basically the skin or the way that your site is going to look. And I've got this screen pulled up uh, because it's, you know, it says new project here. And basically what this gives you the ability to do is whatever design that you make here, it allows you to render it down as a HTML site or mainly what I use it for and that is a template, theme, skin, layout, again, whatever you want to call it, for the content management system Joomla, WordPress, the content management framework, Drupal, and it also makes blogger templates, .NET, Nuke, uh, ASP.NET application, and Code Charge Studio. Um, a lot like Photoshop, when you save a file, it saves it in PSD format, but you get to render it down if you want to to a JPEG or a PNG or a GIF file. Exact same thing here. Uh, Artisteer is nothing more than your Photoshop but just for making templates. And then you get the option to render it down as a Joomla template, WordPress template, Drupal template. And when you do so, that's where the magic happens. And all the design that you created, it converts it into the necessary HTML and CSS code for that platform that you chose to export it in. Cool thing is, is that if I make this design and save it as a Drupal platform, I can also make it a WordPress template or Joomla template and it will look exactly the same. So that's what Artisteer is. It is a template building tool for your website. Um, what it's not, because I've gotten a lot of questions on this, is people have asked, um, you know, what or where in Artisteer do I add my pages? And when anybody ever asks me that, I kind of know off the bat that they didn't quite understand the software. You make your pages and you build your website with WordPress or with Joomla or with Drupal. You don't build your website with Artisteer. What you're building with Artisteer is you're building the skin or the way it's going to look to your users. But for example, like home, menu item, and about, obviously that's not going to be the only three pages that you have on your website that's the menu bar will be populated as you see fit in the back end of the content management system that you've chosen to use. This is simply giving you an example of what that's going to look like once you render it down. So that's what Artisteer is and it is an amazing time-saving tool to implement designs either given to you by graphic designers or uh, client requests or if you're just trying to uh, create your own. Um, each one of these tabs up here, and again, I've got another video that kind of, uh, kind of goes over this in more detail, is going to represent a different area of the template. And uh, one of the nice things, one of the new features that they did is if you're kind of lost as to where to go up here, if you mouse over any section, you'll notice that uh, you'll get this highlighted bar. And then over in the right here are controls to dive into that section um, directly. The other nice thing, and the other big thing, and this is kind of what I wanted to highlight about the Artisteer 3 version, is that they have fluid widths. Um, and that's a very big deal because in Artisteer 2, one of the big drawbacks to it is awesome as it is and was, it couldn't do fluid widths. So for example, you can see that our sheet here is a fixed width, but our menu bar and our header, for example, are 100% and go all the way across. It also gives you a lot more layout options that you can choose from uh, right off the bat here and just by clicking it it'll give you a whole different uh, generalized layout if you will and so this is another way that it could look but again you get this fluid aspect to it that goes all the way across to kind of drive the point home to tell you what show you what I'm talking about uh, let's say we wanted the width of the sheet meaning this white part here in Artist Year 2, this is all you had, this first column here. 
artist tier three, you now have percentages. So if I choose 100%, it's going to make it go the entire width of the screen or the browser. And it's going to be a fluid width. So again, it's going to adjust naturally to the browser. Um, and that's a big deal because in artist tier two, uh, you could do this, but you typically had to do it later on in the code after you rendered it down. And that could be depending a lot of CSS or kind of some advanced CSS or you need to know kind of what to manipulate in the index.php file of the platform you were working with. So it was kind of tricky just depending on the layout that you implemented and for what system you were rendering it down for. But RDC3 solved all those issues. And now you not only have free reign over whether it's a fluid width or not, but you have free reign over which element is going to be fluid. Is it going to be the menu bar? Is it going to be the header? Is it going to be the sheet? So here, everything's 100% right now. But for example, I could say, uh, make the sheet 900. And maybe the menu bar, the width of the sheet, which is also 900. And there you go. And we still kind of have this border, this shadow. Again, this can all be created or altered in the sheet area here. Uh, maybe we don't want a shadow. But again, I can let you guys play with this. And I've got another video that kind of goes over those tabs in a little bit more detail and kind of on what you can do and how to build with it. It's a very, very intuitive program. Uh, unlike Photoshop or something like that, the learning curve is is very very shallow and you'll find that you're gonna have a lot of fun actually learning it so if you want to learn more about this product there's gonna be a link in the more information box and uh, they've got a free trial and the free trial allows you to play around with it and see if that's gonna be something you like I'll let everyone know right now it's not free it does cost money cool things cost money I know it it's no fun um, and it's $129, so obviously it's not going to be for everybody, but arguably I think if you're going to be in a position on a personal project or if you're making websites for clients, obviously after two or three templates, uh, the thing pays for itself. And you know, clearly there's no limit on how many templates or layouts that you can make or how you can render them down for, you know, or how many systems you can render them down for. Uh, no, no limit on that. So it is just a template making machine for some very, very cool content management systems and frameworks that are out there. And I'm just going to try to change the color here. So anyway, yeah, again, I'd encourage you to check it out. Again, Artist Year 3 um, really broke a lot of barriers and came out with an excellent new product. You get fluid widths uh, for each element of the site. That includes the footer down at the bottom. So again, check it out. Um, I find that this makes an amazing tool to speed up the design implementation aspect of website building because whether you're getting a PSD or a graphical design from a uh, graphical designer and then you have to convert it into a WordPress template, a Joomla template, a Drupal template, or whether you're just trying to um, you know, satisfy some of the requests from a client on certain colors and things that they want to have, this is going to give you the uh, free reign with all the tools to do that and to, again, make a really cool design and have all the code, the CSS, the HTML, the order, the structure of that, the uh, XML files, the .info files, all that's going to be taken care of for you. You don't need to know look at code. Now, obviously, if you do know look at code, you can do a lot more. You can dive into the designs that you make and tweak them further to do more and to do different things. But I think you'll find that what it provides out of the box, uh, the vast majority of the time is going to get you 99% of the way there and in an absolute fraction of the time. So again, all I'm doing here is I'm just hitting this suggest design button, which is uh, basically taking a random um, set of parameters and variables across all these different sections up here. And I don't know, this is kind of a weird one, but it is random. Um, and this is just kind of fun to do to, you know, start to use the software. And um, I like to do this sometimes to see if there's something cool that pops out that either I want to use or maybe it's going to 
be you know influential on me and I'm going to spark my own design off of that so um, as you can see it's a it's a very very robust program it uh, is clearly going to give you the ability to make an unlimited number of templates and an unlimited number of different templates um, that's also very important because I know that a lot of people are like well I don't want a website that looks like everybody else's well you're correct in, in thinking that and uh, this software gives you a lot of tools to be unique in very very many ways so anyway uh, check out artist year 3 uh, artist year was artist year 2 was awesome artist year 3 is just uh, off the hook it, it, it does so much more than artist year 2 and uh, I'm kind of excited to see um, what their next release is going to be so again it says the time of this video uh, 129 dollars and that's for the software and I think if you want annual updates I think it might be 65 I'm not sure obviously if you had the updates you would have gotten artist year 3 had you purchased artist year 2 um, and so clearly uh, this company they uh, obviously stand behind their product and keep making it better and better and better and listen to their users uh, which is really important to me so um, I use it a lot in my development for my website building I use it as a tool to get a lot of design sent to me by graphic designers started and typically I'll go into the code later and finish it up but uh, hopefully this can also help you if you find value in it and again it's a free trial risk free so I mean uh, I'd encourage you to to uh, download it and check it out so anyway uh, as always thanks for listening I'm more than happy to answer questions I always appreciate constructive criticism and um, always available to talk uh, if you need to. So uh, I guess until next time, guys, have a good one. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.